Now, the Pox secondary weapons are basically kind of like the Spira is. It was here previously, it's gotten... Ah, damn it. It's gone now, for some reason it's thrown other things in there. It was better when the Spira was there. They're like a toxic Spira, doing toxic damage rather than base damage, which is what the Spira does, with a 35% status chance. But the blueprint for this is unfortunately lab research inside of the bio lab. I like the fact it tells you where the blueprints are now. That is so much more useful. Or of course, 175 platinum if you do want to go around buying it. If you do want to build them, the blueprint is inside of the infected lab or the bio lab inside of Dojo. So it's kind of a clan research thing. Once it is researched, it does take three days to do so. It does require four mutagen mass to be built. Two night and extract, 1200 rubido, six and a half thousand nanospores. This thing's expensive. 30,000 so 45,000 credits in total, and it takes a whole day to build. Comparing it to the Spira, it does a total damage more, because obviously, if you add the physical damage together, it's lower than the 125. So it does more damage, but it is elemental, and Toxin does do a whole damage over time proc, which is kind of useful, but it also has a 35% status chance, which could come in useful. More weirdly, it's got a 1% crit chance, meaning any crit mods, waste of time on this weapon. But it does have a pretty decent um, fire rate, even though it's slower than the Spira. This thing basically comes about the fact it's got 35% status, meaning it's a full blown status built weapon. There's no point doing anything else to these. Hopefully they've got, ah yes, two polarities. Because, you know, sometimes two is better than one. This thing has a major downside to it. It only carries about 24, 26 rounds total. So you are constantly running out of ammo. You can counter this using something like um, Pistol Ammo Mutator, but it does mean sacrificing a little bit of either fire rate, uh, the flight speed of the rounds, because you can get a mod that slightly increases that. Damage somewhere, multi-shot, something has to be sacrificed to fit that in there, so I didn't, but it is a good idea. The flight speed was really weird the first time i fired this i kind of just fired it once to see what the cloud was like and as it was going in slow motion i thought i was dropping frames like crazy because it kind of just went off in slow motion and yeah turns out that was actually the flight speed of them hence i put the flight speed mod in didn't really help that much but it is a help because you have to forward like shoot where the enemy's going to be not where they are because it takes that long to get there and the arc on it is actually it's easy to get used to after you've fired it a few times it really is easy to get used to so that's not a problem on these things at all it was just the flight speed was ridiculously slow and people kept referring this to the the torrid i think i prefer the torrid to this because you can actually stick the rounds to enemies or allies and they can run around leaving gas clouds behind them. This, you can't. And if I'm honest, the gas cloud itself, I wouldn't say it's not that big. I would say it doesn't last that long. And that aside, it's still insanely useful for putting this thing in front of doorways that you know enemies are gonna come through because they'll come through and be affected by whatever you put on the gas cloud. I think I swapped mine over to um, Viral and Radiation and again you can swap them over for any combo it's just the fact it was toxic and I wanted to swap it to I wanted to put something else on there I've also run it with Corrosive and Blast because Blast knocks them over and Corrosive takes the armor off depends what enemy you're going up against as to what elemental combo you have on it but because this weapon has such a high status chance Putting the um, combos on there was definitely worth it because it gave it a 100% status chance and it did turn it into a pretty decent weapon. Once you get around the fact that it only has a small amount of ammo and you will constantly be thrown back to your primary while you're trying to kill things. <laughs>